Welcome to Common Clutter with Tracy. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of how I organize my day in a block schedule. Come along if you want some great ideas. So today, block scheduling. Um, this is a really requested video um, from my last week's video uh, about calming your clutter in your life. Um, in my life, block scheduling is a way that I can be, I can designate certain times of my day to certain tasks. Because I manage so many aspects of my life, this is the best way that works for me. There are a lot of different tutorials online. I'll tag a bunch of them on the comments below. Of Like Jordan Page has a really good one, but she's a stay at home mom uh, for work from home mom. So hers works good if that is the way that your life is and that hers works good um, when I was a work at home mom, but now I am outside of the home working mostly. So that didn't work anymore. So I had to kind of like take those ideas and kind of make them into my own kind of schedule that worked well for my family. So a, a, I will print this or I will have a link for this down below or on um, my Instagram or somehow. So I will have so this is just a simple Excel spreadsheet, nothing crazy. I wrote it out with the times and it's by um, every half hour, it's broken down. So my, and this is a projected best day scenario. It is not written in stone that everything has to fit in these sections. It's just, it's how my brain just puts it all together. Um, so my ideal situation is I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. <sighs> some days it's 5.30, some days it's six. So it, it five o'clock is my, I don't wanna be waking up earlier than that, even though sometimes I do. Um, and then I only work for the company I work for, um, the nonprofit for cleaning for seniors. I only work for them on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I only work three days a week for them. But then I also do, um, I do this channel as well as paperwork and HR and payroll and stuff for my parents' business. So I still need to fit that into um, my calendar, obviously. And that's where the block scheduling works well because I can have these specific boundaries. Like in my last video, boundaries are key and that's a boundary of my time of where everything goes. So this is my work schedule boundary. So in order to make it work for my work for company and work for my parents, I broke it into two different things. So for my company that I work for, I work a whole day um, from nine to three most days. Um, but then for my parents business, I only work in the morning. So that's usually between 8.30 till about 12.30 on Monday and Fridays. So the afternoon is open. And then sometimes my afternoon is open for at my company's work too. So the afternoon block is kind of, it's not written in stone as well. It, it depends on the day. But that's really the only block that kind of changes. Um, and that's my afternoon block. And every afternoon block on a Friday, which is today, uh, is my home management. So I've kind of wiggled my blocks around this week so I could video today because I wasn't able to video Monday because I was on a field trip. So that's the beauty of the bound, like the boundaries of the, the block schedule, which I love because if I don't, if it doesn't fit in this boundary, then I can put it, you know, I can move boundaries around to a point. There are boundaries for a reason. You're not going to be moving things around all the time. The one boundary that never moves is my family home time and home management system every day. There's a home management. Um, and that's from approximately 3 4 o'clock. I also have gym is usually the beginning of that block. 
so I can go and do a gym or I can go for a walk or whatever. Um, the home management block is exactly what it says. Um, Dave Ramsey, we're following the Dave Ramsey um, to get out of debt. And he has a home economist. Um, and that's when I do that kind of stuff. So I manage my home. So it could be whatever the home needs. And I write it on my list. That's in my planner. And it's just a going list. It doesn't have like date sensitive uh, things. Unless if it does, then it will go in the calendar that I'll show you here. Um, and then we always have like from 6.30ish to about 8.30 is um, activities. So my kids have after school activities, usually start at 6.30. Um, or we have family chores. Uh, the kids get their zones done. Oh, my ideal, ideal day is that their zones are done by Thursday, but today they're gonna be doing their zones when they get home from school. So on a Friday. Um, and then some of their zones, they can take the whole week to do them. I don't care as long as it gets touched at least. If you're wondering about the zone talking I'm talking about, go back. I'll put it at the end of this video um, on how we break down the zones for zone cleaning for kids. Um, Preteens mostly because I have a 10 and a 13 year old. So, but it works for any age. Any age, start early. <laughs> start early. That's the biggest tip I have to give you. And then from about 8.30 till about 11, I went to bed at 10 yesterday, um, it's like mom wind down. So I put the kids to bed, they're old enough, they can put their self to bed, but an interesting note, if you have teenagers, still tuck them in. Even if they don't want you to, still tuck them in. I still tuck mine in. Um, and then I have either a shower or I read or get myself ready for the next day. I have like a bag system of what job I'm doing that day. I have to prepack it, make sure my work phone's plugged in behind me, things like that. It just makes my morning a lot more better, it runs a lot more smoother. Um, and that's about it for the week, the weekday stuff. And then for the... Uh, Saturday this is super flexible I'm I, I kind of like give myself a rough idea of like things I want to get done so on a Saturday morning if the kids haven't finished their cleaning for the week their zones and their bedrooms then that's their opportunity to do that and then I kind of like if there's a house project if there's something my husband and I need to fix or something like that we do that in the morning and then by about 12.30, I do all my shopping. Um, I go errand shopping, doing whatever I need to do, grocery shopping, things like that. And then we'll do our prep for church the next day. So I'll make sure that everybody's clothes are in the wash or dried or ironed or whatever has to happen with that. And as well as um, we'll make a dinner. Um, I'll have a meal plan. It's usually done on the on the Friday. I'll plan the meal like today, the meals for the rest of the week, so then I can go grocery shopping tomorrow. Um, and then I do uh, Saturday afternoons, evenings, I do my YouTube prep to make sure that for the next week I know what I'm doing, if I have to get some B-roll done. I'm still learning a lot of it, so half the time it's just watching a tutorial on how to add things to things and stuff like that. So, and then my Sunday is just church. That's all that's planned. Um, I don't really plan anything else on a Sunday. Uh, it's kind of, if we have, sometimes we do our family home evening on Sunday. It really, it's like our day of rest. It, we get home from church, half the time we all are napping by the end of the day, and it's our down day. It really is. And because we have such a scheduled schedule, like, and everybody assists in the cleaning of the house, there's nothing really to do on a Sunday. Um, some Sundays I might like, you know, prep for the Monday, cook some food, whatever. But cooking in my world, like in, cooking to me is very spiritual. I, I love, I love cooking so much. So it doesn't seem like a chore to me. I just, I just love cooking. So sometimes that's, 
you know, I have a scripture going in the background in my kitchen and that is a, an amazing Sunday to me. So I will have this principle. Um, if you sign up for my uh, email list, it will be on there. It will, I'll just put it in my printables. Um, and I just use my um, midliners, which I love. I only have two. Uh, I do live in Canada, so it's really hard to find them. I think I bought these at Michael's, but I love them. And I use them to kind of block off the calendars. So that's this one. And this one's always on my desk wall on my calendar, like beside my office computer screen thing. So this is my, uh, I love this planner. It is a Webster's, um, Webster's pages planner. I will link it down to the, in the comments below, but this is my life. This planner goes everywhere with me, literally everywhere. Um, I won't give you a, a breakdown of all of it only because it's going to be quite big and I will make a whole story about that or I'll make another video in the comments. See if you want my Webster's planner, super simple layout. Um, I love this one cause it's, it goes with my theme of take time to do what makes your soul happy. These I got at Michael's, uh, here in Canada. And I believe you do can, you can get them in the States as well. I'll see if I can link that below as well. So this is just a easy peasy piece of paper, just printed off my count. I took the same calendar printable that I had, um, that I showed you before and just shrunk it down to the size of paper that fits in a personal size planner. And then I wrote in and color coordinated it for the, the wake up block, the work block, the uh, other work block, the home management and dinner, family activities, wind down and read, and everything that happens on the Saturday as well. Super easy. So it's, it, it's easy because I can, let's zoom in for you, that I can just say um, something needs to go on for the my parents work business uh i'd be like okay i have a spot open at 1 30 to 2 30 on friday or whatever has to happen um so that's really nice um some people do for their lunch is their own block but i don't have like a lunch block i have like 10 15 minutes to eat lunch sometimes so i just put it there so i remember to actually eat lunch because that's really something i forget a lot to do um, dinner on a Saturday does not usually take that long, but it's usually, it's like a, um, the whole block, like home management, meal prep, stuff like that. Okay. So for, in my planner, I use just the regular, so for Michael's, I'll back it out here a sec. So for Michael's, this is what I use for my inserts. Um, and this is the dot grid paper and I have a absorbent amount of books that go inside of this planner um comment below if you want to see all my stuff like that I always think that people don't want to see that but then people do so um these little books work really good I buy them when they're on sale um and they work really good for the purpose that I'm doing my daily so it, it was really hard for me to find a daily sheet that I liked that fit the way that I wanted it to work. So, um, this one is from a couple weeks ago and it's just a plain old piece of paper with the dot grid and it just has a little checklist sticker, sticker up top, and then who and what is going on, what has to happen on that Monday. So this was a Monday that I don't work, I work in the home. So I did my breakfast, see the color, and then I did my work office work. Then I did go to the bottle depot and if it's got a little check mark beside it or an X, it's cause I got it done. Um, it's kind of like my own version of bullet journaling. Uh, if it did not get it done, it goes, it has a little X beside it cause it poured rain the second I was going to go for my walk. So I did end up going to the gym, but I wanted to go outside. Um, and then like the laundry zones, a uh, few emails I had to go, um, email out. So sometimes there's like, it just says 
work. Uh, and then there's like a list back here that says what that work is. Um, just so I don't have to write it all here. Um, I have just a, like a running, you know, who has to be emailed for work and who has to be, um, which is whatever has to be done. It's really broken down like that in that section. Uh, and then I usually start dinner or eat dinner, something like that. Uh, and then I clean up the dinner and then I did YouTube that morning or that evening. Um, I did cross off my self care because I did go to the gym in the morning part. So I still have my evening routine, home management, personal time, work, and morning. My personal time was written here only because I don't have my two blocks of work. It would have, Monday more, Monday's afternoon is usually my personal, I book like massages that day or, um, therapy, like when I see my therapist, I'll book her on the, that time block. Um, and then I did carry it over here, but I didn't work that much, um, that day. And then I do have like a little meals breakdown. So I knew what was happening. Um, daily self-care. I did do daily self-care as well. Um, it's just written in my other diary, but it's sometimes just a good reminder to be like, oh, what's my daily self-care that I'm going to do that day? Um, and then as well as with this. I did a bunch of stuff. Daily self-care was a hot shower after that day. I needed one. And then, like, so I just did, I broke down my list there as well. Um, you know, paid the water bill, uh, called Service Canada, grocery shopping. Sisters were, I was meeting with the sisters with a, at church. And then the gym was my self-care. We'll cut that up. Um... So, and then this is Saturday, Sunday. I just put Saturday and Sunday on one sheet. It just works better. Um, because there's no, like, schedule time for anything, really. Um, if it is a schedule time, then I'll m put make sure it's lit up and what we need to do. Um, and then this was just Father's Day. So we did, like, a walk and uh, I meditate every day. Um, I really try to. It helps with my depression and anxiety. Mostly my anxiety. Um, and I read my scriptures and things like that. Uh, I do do the home blessing from Fly Lady. I like that little, it takes like an hour. I just kind of run through the house doing a little bit of home blessing. So it's, home blessing is AKA cleaning, but I call it home blessing because then it's not like, oh, I gotta clean my house. Um, so I really enjoy that. And then this is for this week. So, um... I'll maybe post it on Instagram, but it just says this week to do list. And then it has it all broken down of what I do this week. Um, so this is my, uh, other one. So this, I will share in another video on how I keep this and it's my wallet. So it comes with, it goes with me everywhere. So I hope that you found that, uh, video informative. Uh, keep your block system super simple. Like, break them down, but also you probably are living a block system already. Um, you just really need to like look at what you're doing at certain times of the day. Um, what really worked for me was I wrote down everything I did down to 15 minutes for almost two weeks to see where my time was being robbed, I guess. Um, just to break it down, to get uh, a good idea of where your time is going because it's, time is like money. You have to direct it to go somewhere. So you're not like sitting and watching YouTube for two, three hours. Um, and yeah, time is just like money. You got to direct it to where you need to go. And a lot of people say they don't have time to do a lot of stuff. Um, when I say I have no time, I really don't have time. Um, I do try to see my friends on those uh, blocks that I have open, but sometimes that doesn't always work for other people. So um, my family and my friendships and um, those things come in first, important. So sometimes in a week, those 
block boundaries might be turned over, but we have to have boundaries or else we just feel like we're going in like nine gazillion different directions. And that's not how you want to live your life. You want to live your life with intention and in purpose. And, and if that is putting on a boundary on your time and be like, no, sorry, I don't have that open availability. Um, you pretty much have that say in your life. Um, and I want you to have more time. I want you to, um, so if you're trying, for instance, if you're trying to organize your home, you can have, let's say you're a work or you're a stay at home mom. Um, that second work block I have, that might be nap time and nap time might be, you need a nap or nap time might be, um, you're going to tackle a space in your house or something like that while the kids are napping. Um, that's important too. So, um, but that, that healthcare, like taking care of yourself block is very, very important for me. And that is the block that tends to be neglected because I'm like, Oh no, I'll just go do something for him or go do something for her or do something for somebody else or whatever. Um, sometimes it, it, it is something I need to do. So I put my massage therapy and my therapist in those blocks and I can't cancel on them. So, um, or I, plan a medicare I'm planning to get my nails done at some point um in fancy nails so but that's my youtube video for today and I hope that you can like and subscribe leave any comments in the below of like things that you want to see um I have a planner problem um I just haven't had a chance to share my planner addiction at this time um it is on the long list of to do's but if you guys uh this was a really requested video of my time blocking from my last video so um and my instagram page had a lot of how do you block your time and it's something that a lot of moms and working moms struggle with um so yeah give me a comment like and subscribe and we'll see you next time